Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals, welcome back to my channel, and today I wanted to show you how you can make millions with only your Fisher and Unwalker 6.0. Now, of course, I'll be doing this for all gathers and all crafters, updating within each major patch, but this one is for Fisher, and this is what you can start gathering whether you're low level or max level. So with that being said, let's get into it. So Fisher, in my opinion, is super underrated just because it is so different from the other gatherers. But that doesn't mean you can't make a heck ton just alone with Fisher. Another thing, if you do want to level up very quickly with your Fisher, I highly recommend using your leave quest because the Fisher is the only gatherer where you can just buy things off the market board to level your Fisher through leave quests. Other gatherers actually require you to do gathering I went from 1 to 80, never even fishing at all. But the thing is, we can also use this to our advantage. To those who will do the same thing, we can target what they're buying. But reminder, before I do go into it, that all team craft lists that are mentioned will be listed down below. So to start, leave quests. The best leave quests right now to farm for are the level 80 to 90 ones. The Ponderer, which is fishable at level 80, and you can find them here in Old Charlian. You don't even need any gear. My Pentamelded Aesthetic gear was totally good for me. I farmed so many all the way until 86, but if you are interested in leveling your Fisher and or other gatherers, this video will really help you out. But yeah, the Ponderers are great because everyone is using these leave quests to level up their fisher from 80 to around 86. Next up is the Proto Mike 987. This is fishable at level 85 right here in the Mario Limitorum. And this of course is for the leave quest, which a lot of people are buying to get from 85 to around 88. Next up is the Bluegill, fishable at level 82 right here in Thavnir, and this of course is still a leave quest item. And finally, the Macrobacium Lar. This is fishable at level 82 in Labyrinthos. That is of course some examples. You can go here and Tinkraft in the leave quest tab, put in Fisher and the level range that you want to check, and all the fishes that are there available to turn in, you can check what's best selling on your market board. Now, of course, this is from 80 to 90. There's a lot from one to all the way till 80 that sell just as well and for just as much. So of course, take a look and see what's best for you. So next up is the basic fish, meaning no time notes, no master books and anything like that. This is just the fish that you've got in your gathering log available to you as you level. First up is the hammerhead shark, fishable at level 29, the red coral fishable at level 40, the white coral fishable at level 5 to 15, and side note, a lot of the corals are worth quite a bit and bought very often because they're used in a ton of leveling recipes. So just type in coral and search through all of them and see what you can find that sells for a lot and sells often. Next, the deep purple coral, fishable at level 79. The ruby spotted crab, fishable at level 80. The shallows cod, fishable at level 90. And the northern herring, fishable at level 90. The next section is master book items. You can make a hack ton of money from fish from master books, which are tomes of ichthyological folklore. You can of course get the older folklore tomes by talking to a sundry splendors, go to gather supplies, folklore items, and here you can buy all the folklore tomes for 125 to around 400 scripts without having to need to worry about specific tokens in exchange for the tomes. This vendor is unlocked by the quest Go West Craftsman and more donuts. So once you finish that up, you unlock the sundry splendor vendor where you can get the tomes for scripts instead of tokens. This is of course for old tomes. Any new tomes are only purchasable through tokens, which I'll show you in a moment. Where Stormblood, the most notable fish from the folklore tome, is the ethological folklore tome authored, and you can get the fish Warden of the Seven Hues. The next notable fish tome is for the Nofrent one, which you can get the fish the Greater Serpent of Rungkum. And this is the average price for the Warden of the Seven Hues. 
It's really expensive. It's hard to get, but it does sell and for quite a lot. And here is the Greater Serpent of Runkle. Same story. It sells for quite a bit, but sells extremely slowly. But for 1 million gil, that's not bad. So here from the Splendor's Vendor in Radzit Han, you can buy the new tomes of Etiological Folklore for 16 Regional Folklore Trader Token Seeds, which you can buy right here at the Scrib Exchange for Light Scrib Exchange Level 90 Baton Tokens. It is a hundred white scripts for each token. Right now, these fishes that are unlocked with the new tomes are only usable for purple scripts, but later on, there will be fish that will be used in the new recipes. So still unlock all of them when you can. Next up are some timed notes. Now, the best place to look for specific time notes that are actually worth anything, of course, look at recipes, aether sands, and also quest items. So, the first three time notes that are worth quite a bit is the cat killer, fishable at level 16, the rain color, fishable at level 5, and finally, the full moon sardine, fishable from level 25. The next section is quest items. Now the quest items have remained the same. It is just now you don't have to get any HQ items to finish the quest. Just fish normal quality since high quality doesn't matter. But these items are still valuable since a lot of people still need to level and do their class quest. First up is the Letter Puffer, fishable at level 58. The Shadow Whisker, fishable at level 55. Next is the Meslaya Marlin, fishable at level 50. And some lower level ones, the Shadow Catfish, fishable at level 27. And the Navigator's Dagger, fishable at level 18. Now, of course, these are my market board prices. You can just go on TeamCraft and view the list. This list is of course in the description and how you can check what sells best for you is by going up here to pricing mode, fill prices based with your market board prices only. Now you can see all the prices for every single fish. Of course, look at the prices and the amount that's bought per week. Next up are Aether Sands. Now with Fisher, a lot of the older Aether Sands are simply not worth it to farm unless they are just as expensive as the current ones which most often is not the case. So the most current Aether Sand right now is the Untide Aether Sand. Now I will make a video on how to gather all these Aether Sands, but a quick TLDR is by gathering these fish, the Ease Fornesh, and the Authardian Lumpsuck. Now the Ease fish is in Ultima Thul, and the Authardian is in the Ruby Sea. Now the last and final section is Scripts. And Fisher is a great way to farm scripts, whether you're doing purple scripts or white scripts. The banana eel is the best way to get white scripts, and the tome fish are the best way to gather purple scripts. And of course, you can come here in TeamCraft to the collectibles tab and set alarms for each fish that you would like to keep track of, and you can see which fish will net you the most for the least amount of time. And if you're curious on where a fish is, what bait you should use, I of course recommend once again going on TeamCraft and just searching up the fish. It'll tell you when it spawns, what weather it's best to catch at, what hook set, what bait used, where you can find it, and everything else. So of course, if you're confused, don't know where to look for these types of information, then look here. So that was how you can make millions with only your fisher. Now, of course, Fisher is a little bit different, but you can still make an absolute heck ton. Just look out for the current items. Look out for things that sell. Look out for things that are needed for crafters, especially any alchemist and culinarian crafts. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this can help you make a heck ton of gil. Thank you to everyone that supports me on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. You all keep the channel going. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!